Okay, I'm going to really quickly review what we talked about in class today. We talked about cells. We talked about chromosomes. We talked about genes. And we also talked about DNA. Okay, so these are the four main parts of um, our genetic and our heredity system. Okay, how our body knows how to build itself. It's kind of like the instruction manual for our body. So our cells, here's a picture of a cell. Cells are what our body is made out of. Everything in your body is made of cells. Uh, they make up your bones, they make up your tissues, they make up your hair, your skin, everything. And what the cells are constantly doing is as they get older and kind of worn out, they reproduce themselves, so we're constantly making new cells of our body. Uh, your body actually replaces most of its cells every year. So if you look at your skin right now and uh, you think about what's inside your body and even your hair and stuff like that, <clears throat> those cells are constantly dying. And as they die, they reproduce and make new ones. So the cells you have today are probably not the cells you're going to have a year from now, which is kind of interesting to think about. So. Anyway, the, the way that these cells know how to reproduce themselves is they kind of have like, each one has an instruction manual inside of it. And that instruction manual is organized, kind of like if you guys were putting together uh, some kind of Lego or something. Um, there would be an instruction manual that's organized by chapter, by page, so on and so forth. The organization that the cells have, okay, so the instruction manual is inside, in here, in the nucleus, we have all these chromosomes, all right? And the chromosomes hold all the information the cell needs to be able to reproduce itself, to make a perfect copy of itself. It's kind of like, like I said, an instruction manual. The cell reads the chromosomes, and it tells exactly what to do, uh, what color of hair to grow, you know, what pigment of skin to grow, things like that. So the cells, if we use the writing metaphor we talked about in class, the cells are kind of like a paragraph. Okay? Inside the paragraph, let's try that again. A paragraph. Inside the paragraph, just like in normal paragraph, there are sentences. Okay, so here's where the actual information is. Okay? So our chromosomes are like the sentences. Now, sentences are obviously made out of other things, like words. Okay, so the chromosomes are just kind of a way to organize all the instructions. Where the actual instructions are inside the chromosomes on genes. Okay, so the words that make up a paragraph are really where all the information is. Right? Um, <clears throat> if a paragraph doesn't have words, or a sentence doesn't have words, then it's, it's not a sentence. It's not useful to us. So if the chromosomes are the sentences, the genes are the words inside that sentence that actually make it mean something. Okay, so the cell looks to the chromosomes, and inside the chromosomes there's these genes that are like the words that it reads that tell it exactly what to do. Now, the words, just like words that you use, are also made out of smaller things. Uh, in this case, the smaller things that genes are made out of are called DNA. Okay, so DNA is sim similar to letters. All right, the letters that are inside the words. Letters make up words. So DNA on its own, one piece of DNA, is not very useful for the cell. But if DNA is arranged in a way that makes sense, kind of like when letters are arranged in a way that makes sense, which is a word, it makes it useful for the cell. So, these are all kind of similar because they're all made out of each other, but they're different levels of organization. So the DNA is like the letters in a word. All right, so here, right here, here's a little piece of DNA. Now, when I get enough pieces of DNA together, what we get is a gene. Okay, so a gene is made out of a lot of pieces of DNA, and that's the instructions for the cell to replicate itself. Now, 
all these genes need somewhere to be held. So they're held in what's called a chromosome. Okay, The chromosome lives in the nucleus of the cell. So they're all kind of made of the same stuff, uh, but they're just different ways to organize it. So hopefully this helped a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message.